The company John Deere making a big change to where they manufacture their farming equipment, leading to hundreds of U.S. layoffs. The farm equipment giant is laying off workers at three U.S. factories and shifting production to Mexico. Company officials say this is due to decreased demand and falling revenue. And News Nation's Rich McHugh is following this story. He joins us live. Rich, how many impacted employees are we talking about here? Well, in these recent cuts, I believe it's just around 600, Nicole, just shy of 600, but that also follows cuts from last year. You know, this is one of the most American and one of the oldest American brands. It was, it was created in 1837. It's known for uh, quality products made by Americans. And now those products, those, those, those products are going to be made in Mexico. They're shifting operations to a new plant made in Mexico. Uh, in a statement to, excuse me, in a statement to News Nation, they tell us 590 uh, job cuts will be coming from 280 employees from East Moline, Illinois, 210 from Davenport, Iowa, and another from Dubuque, Iowa. This comes after 650 job cuts in Iowa earlier this year and 250 from Illinois last year. In a statement, they tell News Nation these cuts are in response to market conditions. Quote, these changes are being made due to re reduced demand for the products produced at these facilities. As stated in our second quarter earnings call, industry sales are expected to further decline in the back half of uh, fiscal year 2024. In their recent investor call, they said they saw a big drop in demand for riding log lawn equipment and blamed high interest rates for fewer sales. But John Deere is not hurting for cash. According to the records, John Deere made $10 billion in profits last year. They spent over $7 billion in stock buybacks last year. And its CEO, John May, received over $26 million in total compensation. Local real estate records also show that he listed his giant 80-acre estate in Illinois for $3.9 million. Uh, Nicole, I just got off the phone with a former John Deere employee. So this is going to devastate these local towns, and it's driven by nothing but corporate greed. Yes, yeah, so many impacted families here. All right, Rich, thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.